Welcome back to another budget keyboard build. Today I have with me a new budget keyboard kit being priced at 36 US dollars. It is a new competitor, roughly in the same range as the CIY Guest 67, but let's see if it is any good. This kit is called the GMK67. It's a 65% keyboard kit with a knob. It looks oddly similar to the Zoom 65, but it's fully made out of plastic. Included in the kit is a braided USB-C cable and a keycap switch puller. But more on the keyboard, it has a volume knob, adjustable feet at the bottom, three different modes of connection, wired USB-C, 2.4GHz wireless receiver, and Bluetooth. And here comes the most annoying part of this keyboard build. In order to open it up, you will have to use a prying tool or a credit card or debit card, any sort of card to try and pry it open. It's actually really tough to pry it open, it took me quite a while. But once it is open, we can finally dismantle everything and look at each component starting with our top frame. As I mentioned, the case is made from plastic, feels really cheap, the poron gaskets are pre-applied for you. The bottom case has nothing much in it, I didn't opt for the Bluetooth battery. Similarly, the poron gaskets are pre-applied and it has a pretty decent case foam. As for our PCB, it's actually pretty decent. Zero flex cuts, pure 100% south facing sockets with RGB. Kale hot swappable sockets, support for screen stabilizers, and I guess they could add QMK or VIA support, but I'm not really complaining, so. Next up is our polycarbonate plate. It feels a little stiffer compared to most polycarbonate plates I have used. The kit also comes with plate mounted stabilizers, which I will be using, which means this keyboard kit has support for both plate mounted and screen stabilizers. Pretty good, pretty good. And last but not least, we have foam. We have the P foam and the plate foam. For 36 US dollars, it seems pretty good to me. So let's see how it sounds. For our switches, we'll be trying out the latest Echo V3 Cream Yellows. They are a linear switch, actuates at 50 grams, bottoms out at 58 grams. I didn't loop the switches, so pray that it sounds good. Now that the switches are installed, I can put the case back together and put on my favorite keycap set, PVD Fans by Klein Blue. It's my favorite keycap set that isn't GMK. And yeah, that is about it. Realistically, you wouldn't really need to open it unless you want to swap out the stabilizers or change the foam configuration. So here's how it sounds. Honestly, it's not that bad. I feel like the switches are a little bit on the scratchier side. If you have the V3 cream yellows, I would recommend lubing them. But the kit itself is pretty solid. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It looks pretty nice. It's really easy to work with, except for the part where you have to open up the keyboard. It doesn't sound like a CIY Tester 68, which means it doesn't sound too plasticky. The PCB has literally everything you need. Screw-in stabilizers, south-facing sockets, hot swappable and RGB, polycarbonate plate, gasket mounted, all the foam you can need to configure it to different sounds. It's a good one. And just like that, we have come to the end of the video. I know it is a really short video, but the keyboard is really simple. So comment your thoughts on the keyboard down below. If you have the keyboard, share your specs with people who might want to get it and let them know what kind of sound profile you were able to achieve. Subscribe if you're new here. I do budget build keyboard stuff. Sometimes not budget. Like the video if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.